Hi folks, David Waring here again with InformTrades.com and today's lesson of the day. In our last lesson we began a new module on how to play stock trades with a look at how to set up a demo trading platform with Thinkorswim. In today's lesson we're going to continue our course on the logistics of stock trading with a look at how to read stock quotes. So let's get started. For anyone who missed our lesson on setting up a demo account, I recommend pausing this video and clicking the link above this video to register for a free Thinkorswim demo so you can follow along as we go through this lesson. For everyone else, go ahead and click the icon to launch the Thinkorswim platform and enter your username and password. Once you've logged into the platform, you should see the trade page of the platform, which will be blank. One of the reasons why I've chosen to work with the Thinkorswim platform is because you can trade pretty much any market that you would like. While this is a positive that allows you access to many advanced features as you become a more experienced trader, this also means that there are lots of things on the platform that are not relevant to us at this stage of the game. With this in mind, I recommend simply focusing on learning the areas that we cover in these lessons and leaving the other parts of the platform to be explored at a later time. Now that we have this out of the way, we can go ahead and pull up our first stock quote. Stocks are represented by something which is known as a ticker symbol, which is an abbreviation, normally from one to four letters, which represents the name of the company that you wish to trade. The first thing that we'll need to know in order to pull up a stock quote is what the ticker symbol is for the stock that we wish to view. Luckily, the Thinkorswim platform has the ability to look up a stock's ticker symbol built right in. To get to the ticker symbol lookup feature, click the two blue down arrows beside the symbol window, which will bring up a drop down menu with some tabs where you can click the lookup tab. For the purposes of this lesson, we're going to look at a quote of Microsoft. So go ahead and type in Microsoft, and as you're doing that, you will see it come up in the drop-down menu where you can double-click to populate the quote window. Once you have the window populated with the Microsoft stock quote represented by the ticker symbol MSFT, what you're going to see going across the screen from left to right is number one the last column this is the price of the last trade in Microsoft stock next in line is the net change column this is the change in price in Microsoft stock from the opening price to the last trade price the bid column this shows the inside bid price which is the best price at which the public can sell the stock the ask column. This shows the inside ask price for the stock, which is the best price at which the public can buy the stock. The size column. Here you will see the number of shares of stock that are available at both the bid and the ask price in hundreds. The number on the left represents the size available at the bid, and the number on the right represents the size available at the ask. When I say size, I mean the number of shares available to be traded. The volume column. Volume is the same thing as the number of shares traded in the stock. So what displays here are the number of shares traded in the stock for that day. In general, the higher the volume for a stock, the narrower the spread, which is the difference between the bid price and the ask price. Next in line you'll see the open column. This shows the opening price for that day's trading. And lastly you'll see the high and low columns. These columns show the highest and lowest price for the stock in that day's trading. These are the main columns that you'll need to understand at a minimum when trading stocks. Other features, which can be seen on this page by clicking the blue arrow to the far left of the quote window, 
and which we will cover the significance of in later lessons are the dividend yield, the price to earnings ratio, the earnings per share, the dividend amount, the frequency of the dividend, the dividend date, the 52 week high and low price for the stock, the beta put call ratio, and number of shares outstanding. Level 2 quotes, which basically show the prices in the market in addition to the inside bid and ask we discussed above, can also be seen on this page by clicking the blue arrow in the next row down besides where, beside where it says Trade Grid. Level 2 quotes are a more advanced feature that we'll be covering in later lessons. If you would like to watch multiple stocks, this can be done from the quote page of the platform, which you can bring up at the top of the page by clicking the quote tab. Once you've done this, click on the options button, which will bring up a drop down menu where you can select create new watch list. Once you've done this, you can name your watch list, click enter, and then click under the symbol column to populate the watch list with the quotes that you wish to follow. If you don't know the symbol for a stock, you can right click in the symbol column, select symbol lookup, and type the name in just as you would have from the trade tab. Another nice feature of the Thinkorswim platform is that trades can be initiated from any of the pages where you have your quotes set up, so traders will have multiple options on that front. That's our lesson for today. In our next lesson, we'll review position sizing and buying versus selling stock short, so I hope to see you in that lesson. As always, if there are any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below, and good luck with your trading.